Hi again, and thanks for being with Life Fist. We've been getting a lot of requests for a video on the AMCA, the Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft, India's fifth generation stealth fighter aircraft program. Now, there's never a bad time to talk about a futuristic aircraft program, but it's an especially good time now because while Lifeist has tracked the AMCA's journey over many years with several news breaks on this crucial aviation project, this year we've seen some very significant updates. For one thing, the huge and very positive news we broke in June that the AMCA program would be a public-private corporate joint venture led by an Indian private sector company, most likely Larson & Dubro. With that model in mind, the developers are looking to begin building the aircraft and getting it into the air by 2026-27, which is very ambitious but still seen as possible if it is led by a private sector company. There have been critics of HAL and DRDO's optimistic timelines in the past, but what LifeFist can tell you is that there is a great deal of emphasis and support to this project because there is a recognition that India has no time to lose in building true advanced fighter jets. Now, this video is not going to compare what the AMCA will turn out to be vis-a-vis -vis other fifth-generation fighters that are out there, like the F-35 or the F-22 or even the J-20. Now, obviously, this being a strategic program in terms of the technologies involved, things are always quite hush-hush. But we did manage to get access to the AMCA's program director himself last year in one of his first and still very rare public interactions on this sensitive subject. We thought this is a great time to revive that interview with the man leading the AMCA team down in Bangalore. He answers many of the questions you probably have about this proposed aircraft. So listen in very carefully. Privileged to be joined uh, by Dr. A.K. Ghosh. He's the director of India's very prestigious, futuristic uh, stealth fighter jet uh, program, the AMCA, the Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft, uh, the model of which has returned to the Aero India show uh, right now. Uh, thanks for speaking to Life Fist, uh, Dr. Ghosh. Uh, our first question to you is, what is the status uh, of the program? You know, we know that this is a very futuristic program. Nobody likes to talk very much about these things in public. Give us a full update on what the status is. See, we are uh, in the last phase of design. So after that, we will start our development. And maybe five to six years, we will make the first flight. Total program will be 10 years say, from now. That is the status. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about uh, uh, the configuration that has already been decided? Anything about the engine that has been decided already? Is it going to be the 414 engine? Is it going to proven be something engine, else? Proven engine to fly, uh, fly, which is already existing. So that's what we are going to take it. Is it the 414 or is it not been decided? Most likely it will be one of the strong contender. Okay. Uh, uh, something that our readers have always been very interested in is about the radar that this will use. Sir. Uh, is this going to go forward with the Uttam Aisa radar or is it going to be an imported radar? Already indigenous development of radar fitting to this configuration is taken up. So that will be an indigenous radar. Okay. Can you tell, tell us anything about the weapons uh, that are going to be on that? We've seen, uh, we've seen the, the two uh, uh, different See, kinds of uh, stealth configurations. Stealth mode. Yeah. It will have an internal weapon bay, yeah. so you can see the various combinations yeah. which it can carry. It has been demonstrated, I mean it is shown. It's a typical picture. It's a uh, just a representative uh, some models. So that class of weapons, sorry, we will be carrying. Externally you can see the various other kinds of weapon in non-stealth mode. From missiles and uh, other smart weapons that it's planned to carry it. At what stage is the program in terms of the prototyping phase? Sir? Has fabrication of anything happened or is That's it still in the design? Development will start very soon. We are in the towards the end of the uh, design phase. I, I mean, advanced stage of design. Okay. Uh, just a last few questions, sir. How, how challenging has it been to develop many of these stealth technologies? Because this will, in effect, be India's first uh, stealth combat aircraft. How challenging has it been? Can you tell us a little bit about experiences in developing these stealth characteristics? Oh, that's 
Actually, uh, one thing I can tell, anything which has uh, to be done from uh, the scratch, uh, it's not easy in Indian air. But once you achieve it and you look it back and then you really enjoy that, okay, I have overcome all the obstacles and delivered. So similarly in terms of stealth, because there are various forms of stealth which a, a aircraft has, a fighter aircraft. So some of the areas actually we have achieved quite well and really I am so happy. I remember that uh, I saw something here in one aero show and then asked one person why don't you can look into it and that is the way it has come. See once you have a desire, wish and you look around and then uh, there are people, young scientists who are available, they are looking for challenging work, ask them to do it, then really they will do it. This is what my experience. Okay, uh, that's a very heartening thing to hear because there are many young scientists who even, who even we met who are associated with the program. A couple of final questions, Dr. Ghosh. Uh, the Indian government has decided to, you know, not be part of the Indo-Russian FGFA program. I, I, I no. am not associated in it, so I cannot comment anything. No, no, I'm not asking you about that program itself, but, you know, as a cutting-edge uh, program director, my question is, can Indians expect that the AMCA could actually be a superior platform when it is ready compared to the FGFA or the Su-57? I am not in a position to make it statement about... Uh, FGFA because I do not know what is that aircraft. <laughs> so yesterday, you know, I cannot compare. Okay, that. understood. Because you know, I have to put. I know that the heavyweight category this is something medium category. What goes in inside and what weapons? What I, unless that is, I, there is no way we okay. can make it. Let, let me ask. Yesterday, the Indian Air Force had said that um, if the AMCA comes up in time, it will be the Indian Air Force's number one priority as far as fifth generation is concerned. So, can you give me a sense of the timelines that That's you are what under? I told you, five years, five to six years and ten years. By ten years, the induction. So, you're looking at uh, ten years for induction of the AMCA, which means in the next decade, by the end of the next decade, you're looking yeah, for yeah, inductions? Sure, sure. That's That's what is the timeline okay and uh, what kind of uh, numbers are you looking at sir what kind of, uh, is there a projected figure of the numbers that you're hoping that we the indian are air force will with the users because it all becomes an fleet planning and all so the users will come back and tell and that part we are now talking about it it's not yet finalized thank you very much for speaking to uh, life is thank you very much so that was uh, dr ak ghosh uh, this is the model that has returned uh, for I think the third or the fourth time to Aero India. Uh, this appears to be a pretty final uh, design as far as the AMCA is concerned. It's a familiar sight now uh, and it's been here a couple of times before. But as Dr. Ghosh just said, uh, there is still the design phase that is continuing. So you can expect that there might be some changes to the actual airframe. But the AMCA is going, they say, in five to six years. A first flight, which means by about 20, 25, 26, a first flight and then induction by the end of the decade. As always, very ambitious timelines, but that's the way it rolls with indigenous development. We wish the AMCA program the very best. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks as always for being with Life Fist. If you enjoy our content, please share, subscribe and help us grow.